In this video, I am going to show you how you can texture a Roblox UGC item. Well, this will work for texturing any model. As you can see here, I have a top hat model. So you don't need to do a top hat. I'm just going to show you with a top hat because it's quite simple. And yeah, we're going to get started. So I'll just start by actually getting a gradient palette because I'm going to be teaching you how to use gradients here. This is the one I'm going to be using. It's by a YouTuber called Infenzia. So yeah, check him out. I would recommend it. But basically, what you can do is just do right click save image as and then save it somewhere in your files that you're going to remember so now what you want to do is you actually want to go down here um go, make sure you have your mesh selected so you can see i've got my top hat selected here go to this little um checkered ball down here and then click new this will create a new material now you want to go where it says base color click the yellow dot and change it to image texture and then press the little open button at this bit you basically want to find in your files where you save the palette and select it and as you can see it, it's a bit of a mess you can see colors all over the place i'm going to show you now how you can tr control what color goes where so make sure you have your thing selected which makes it easier go into uv editing over here and then you want to make it so you can actually see your colors and stuff through here to do that just go up so at the top here if you kind of like can't see all the op options at the right just scroll um and then you can see them. Click the little down arrow and copy my settings. The important one is changing your color to texture. By default, it's on material. And then also by default, it goes to studio, not flat. I like flat because it's brighter. So copy these settings and yeah, we'll get to this. So basically what I'm going to decide now is what color I want what. So I'm going to have the actual top hat body red. And I'm going to do this little band white. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to do tab to go into edit mode. And then I'm in face mode, which is what I want. I'm just going to select all the faces that I want to be a certain color. So all these faces I'm selecting now are going to be the red faces, which is actually all of the model except for this white band. So I'll just go and do this. And that's what I need to do. And now I've got everything that I want to be red selected. I am going to now project this from view. To do this, you can either... Press the number one key on your number pad, or you can press the little like, minus Y here. And this will put your side on, and then you do U on your keyboard, and then go to the UV mapping option, project from view. And as you see, this projects it in the 2D UV graph thing. And now you can scale this down with S, left click to confirm. And now I can move this over like a red color. So you can either use that red, or you can go and use more of this like orangey red. I think this one looks good. Now I'm going to do the same for the white bits. If I select all of these bits, and again, I'm going to press number one on my number pad. And then do U, project from view. And now I can put this thing here on the white. So that should be looking good. And the best thing about this is you can like change it really easily. You can literally just, oh, that's, that's like a, a face thing on the inside. It's not a big deal. All fixed. But what you can do is you can move them around as well if you want to make different variants. So now I've got blue and yellow top hat, etc. I hope this video was helpful. I am going to do some Substance Painter tutorials as well because I've seen a lot of you guys requesting it. So um, yeah, I'll try and get right them done along with someone wants a shoulder pal tutorial. I think a few people do. So I'm going to get that done soon as well. Just it's, Some tutorials are harder to make than others like to explain them properly and stuff. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.